Hi, my name is Taku Hasobe. I'm an associate professor at Keio University, Japan. Welcome to Hasobe's laboratory. Our research group focused on the spray molecule system for solar energy conversion. In this opportunity, we'd like to introduce our recent research results spray molecule non architecture of pulpings. By using spray molecule technique, we have successfully controlled solar energy conversion processes such as light harvest and subsequent electron transfer. First, I'm going to talk about mechanism of solar energy conversion. Here you can see the very standard PN junction type cell. In photovoltaic cell, there are three major processes. First, after absorbing light, light harvest and acetone diffusion takes place, acetone moves to the interfacial surface. Then, carrier generation takes place to create hole and electron. Finally, carrier transport takes place by external electric field. These functionalities are largely dependent on the grain structures. Grain structures mean assembly of dimercule. On the other hand, pulpering has an extensively conjugated two-dimensional pi system. Therefore, this molecule is a good electron donor as well as a sensitizer. The aggregated state's efficiently broaden absorption property in the visible region. We have successfully constructed pulpering-based nanoarchitectures using fluorine, carbon nitrogen, and graphene. The solar energy conversion property of these organized systems are much larger than those of the non-organized systems. We have also prepared supramolecular polyphene nanotube for photovoltaic and photocatalytic application. Fluorine, or platinum deposited TiO2 nanoparticle were successfully encapsulated within polyphene nanotubes. In both cases, large enhancement of solar energy conversion property were observed. Regarding organization process, first, we prepare DMF solution of zinc pulpering with 4 pyrazine unit and fluorine derivative. The DMF solution was injected into CTAB acetonitrile solution. Then, pulpering flake assembly and fluorine spherical nanoparticle are separately observed. After organization process, we can see the organized bell shaped structure. My student also showed the detailed preparation process. Hello, my name is Motoki Oshida. I'm a master's course student. Now I'm going to show you the procedure of the organization process. First, we prepare CTAB acid nitrogen solution and porphyrin fluorine DMS solution separately. The DMS solution is quickly injected into CTAB acetonite ray solution. Then you can see the resulting green color solution. After preparation and purification, you check the macroscopic structure using electron microscopy, such as SDN and DN. The next slide shows the SDN images of in the case of porphyrin nanotubes, you can see many hollow holes. However, the hollow holes are completely closed in the case of fluorine encapsulated porphyrin nanotubes. Additionally, we measure fluorescence lifetime, transient absorption, and solar energy conversion properties. 